So I decided to take apart this uh, Schwinn Zoom uh, suspension fork and um, I set it here on the ground so hopefully you can see most of what uh, I'm doing but it's pretty straightforward. I weighed this, this off my uh, Schwinn uh, Taff from Walmart, the Schwinn Boundary uses the same fork. Uh, it's about 80 millimeters if you uh, take this off and measure uh, from the crown uh, to the stanchion end there, to the outer stanchion, uh, 80 millimeter travel. Uh, no, um, no kind of, uh, of adjustment on it. Uh, so I weighed this guy, it's six and a half pounds. It is massive. The stanchions uh, measured in with a uh, caliper at 37 millimeters, so it's actually it actually has the Fox 36 beat. <laughs> but there's nothing in here. They're just hollow uh, stanchions. They're about a millimeter um, thick. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up, pop off the the um, little rubber boots here. That's all they are nothing there you won't be able to see it but the stanchions are very thin by the way so uh, this is an example of what um, a cheap you know when, when a, a poorly thought out bike does you have a six and a half pound uh, fork that doesn't really work well at all and it's just for looks with these huge stanchions um, it tells you on the back there on the sticker uh, to not do any kind of um, rough riding on it or uh, aggressive riding uh, jumping or anything like that so, um, so it's all for looks and it adds six and a half pounds to the bike. So, you know, take it for what it is, but very poorly thought out by the engineers. They're going for the look. They're not going for functionality. Um, and that's how they get you way, way in there. You see how hollow that is? Look how long that is. So way right about there is a uh, five millimeter uh, hex. So I'm going to remove that from both sides and the stanchion should come out. All right, so I'm back. Uh, this is uh, kind of a spur of the moment video, so um, you know, kind of uh, sorry about the lighting. And this is as I go, so I have not taken this thing apart before, so hopefully, and we're all in for a surprise. All right, so I just pulled the stanchions out, the stanchions out, and um, this is what it looks like. All right, it's awful smell of grease there, and. Let me see if I can uh, make sure this is caught on the camera here. All right, so this is what's inside. All right, so whoops, <laughs> this video's gonna suck. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are the um, the bolts I removed. There they go. There they go. Um, hollow. They got a in there, which uh, feels almost like tin okay now we're gonna have to push out and see what's in the uh, lower stanchions all right so there's the lowers and if we dump them out you got a spring you got a spring and that's all you got in there okay so that's all there's nothing else in there all right so I dumped the um the lower stanchions out, I just basically put them down and uh, dumped what was out there. Uh, so these are the bolts I got out from the top stanchions. And then this is all that's in there. You have two springs, uh, literally just regular old springs. Uh, one has two bumpers, rubber or you know rubber bumpers or whatever that material is, polyurethane bumpers inside. One has one. So even that doesn't even make sense. Not sure why they did that. Just poor quality control or what happened. They just say <laughs> they save money by putting one on the, on the second one. Um, but you know that's uh, that's what you get for uh, six pounds. Okay, uh, on your bike you get a spring with no uh, absorption, uh, short uh, rebound absorption whatsoever, because the spring's just going to bounce right back. The only absorption you're going to get is the friction uh, from the rebound. Uh, so that's pretty useless. And um, I was looking and the fork I ordered, the Suntour uh, XCR, is about five pounds, maybe five and a half. So I'm going to save at least a pound just on that alone. And I'm going to get a working 
fork that is actually meant to be uh, written on the trails. Uh, so uh, really, um, you know, really no value to even having one of these, um, you know, you're better off with a solid um, uh, front fork with a rigid front fork and save a lot of weight. So uh, this will be a big upgrade for the, uh, that Schwinn bike. Thanks for watching.